Okay, so I'm going to write this one out in expanded form because I saw some answers with positive exponents. Also, some saw some students multiplying them out. And remember, I very rarely do you see me actually multiply the numbers, and usually it'd be at the very, very end. So this is right. This means five nines multiplied in a row. So I need to have five nines down here, and so these. Nines cancel out, and I'm left with three, but they're in the denominator, right? So we can always multiply this by one. Didn't change anything. So this is one times nine to the third. We could write that as, right? So if we just, we're going to subtract these two. Yes, it. you can subtract five minus two, but remember the, mo the majority of the nines, like most of them are in the denominator. So what you're going to have is actually it's nine, it is two minus five. So, right, it's the top and then subtract the bottom. And so then you're going to have, right, this is to the negative three, right? Because this is in the denominator, this is nine to the negative three. Okay, um, on to this next example. So I had um, at least a couple of students multiply this like six times two. That's not what this means. This means six multiplied two times, all right? So if I were to write this out in expanded form, it would look like this, right? This is six times six to the fifth power over, and there's eight sixes down here. Okay, then this means there's five of these. So you can see why this is not the most efficient way to do this, but I'm doing this so you can kind of see where these rules remind you where these rules come from. Six times six. And then the eight sixes that are down here. Okay, and then this is all multiplication. This is all multiplication. So six over six is one. 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 All you're left with is two, six times six, or six squared. So what does that look like if we use the rules? Well, we would have multiplied here, right? So I'm going to squeeze that down in here because it doesn't take much room. So that would be six to the tenth over six to the eighth, right? And then what's the rule here? We're dividing, so we subtract the exponents. So then that would be six to the second power, right? So if you use the rules, it goes a lot faster, it's a lot easier, right? But you still get the same answer. All right, and then last but not least, I won't expand this one out, um, right? So multiplying with the same base. So our first step then is to combine those. And so you have 11 to the 10th over 11 to the eighth, and our rule here is to subtract, so 11, and it's 10 minus 8 for the exponents, which is 2, so 11 to the second power.